Have you been thinking about outsourcing to the Philippines, but you're not sure if it's worth your time or the effort? For us, it was a game changer. We started outsourcing to the Philippines over a decade ago, and we like to joke if it could be done wrong, <laughs> we did it wrong, and we often did it wrong more than once, but we didn't give up, and I'm so glad we did it. I'm Kirsten, and for the past 14 years, I've been a business coach. We started outsourcing when my client, and now business partner Jeannie's, marketing agency really blew up. At the time, she had a newborn and toddler at home, and she was working crazy long hours. I said to her, I had just read the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss, and I asked Jeannie, would you be willing to try outsourcing overseas to the Philippines? I've never done it, I don't have any experience, but would you like to give it a try? And she said, sure, why not? And she'll tell you even today that that was one of the best decisions she had ever made in her business. Now we have a virtual team for our business as well. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about how outsourcing to the Philippines can help you grow your business. This channel is dedicated to helping you with your marketing and your outsourcing. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified each time we post a new video. I feel like the number one reason to start outsourcing in your business is because it frees up your time. Let's face it, when you started a business, it was because you had a passion and you truly wanted to help people. But then you realize you have to wear all these other hats. You're doing the bookkeeping, you're doing the marketing, you're writing up the sales contract, you're servicing the clients. All those things are important. But then your days are getting longer, you're getting more frustrated, and let's face it, you didn't start a business to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You started a business to have financial and time freedom. So outsourcing really is the first step to bind back your time, which allows you to focus on the things that you love doing in your business, working with your clients, creating new products or services, finally rolling out that course you've been thinking about, whatever it is. Some of our clients talk about how when they first started outsourcing, it gave them the time to think again. When your business gets really busy, sometimes you actually lose the time to actually think about your business and you lose the creativity around your business. So not only is buying back your time by outsourcing going to let you do what you love doing, it's also going to allow you to think more like an entrepreneur, think bigger and build your business bigger. The second reason I love outsourcing and how it can help you grow your business is the fact that it allows you to buy specialty skills. So for example, you can hire someone who is an incredible bookkeeper, or you can hire someone who is an amazing video editor, or you can hire a community outreach person, or you can hire a salesperson to make outbound sales calls. The reality is when you start to outsource, you can often hire people that have skills that you don't have. So for example, if I had to edit this video, I would not be on YouTube. Simple as that. I wouldn't enjoy learning to edit. I wouldn't be good at editing. And so I would just give up. But by hiring someone who is an incredible video editor, has great graphic design skills and loves what they do, it keeps me doing what I love doing, which is helping people like you, working with our clients, pairing our clients with marketing virtual assistants and making it a win-win. So when you realize that outsourcing allows you to buy your time and specialty skills, it will truly change your business. The third way that outsourcing to the Philippines can really help you grow your business is believe it or not, when you start to build a team, your confidence in your business goes up. We hear it all the time. I feel like a real business owner right now. I had no idea how much I was beating myself up over all the things I couldn't get done. Having someone to bounce ideas off and knowing that someone's committed to my business and helping me grow my business just brings my confidence up and makes me feel like I can really do anything that anything is possible in my business because I'm no longer alone. So what are some of the tangible effects of building your confidence in your business? Well, one thing is you can create new services. The second thing is your confidence goes up. You can raise your prices because you have more time and energy to focus on giving great customer service. So the reality is having that support and building your confidence allows you to do several different things that can help you grow your revenue stream and grow your business. Before I get to the fourth reason why you should outsource to the Philippines, I would love to hear from you. What is your reason for watching this video? What are you thinking about outsourcing in your business? 
The fourth point for outsourcing to the Philippines is the fact that the cost of living is 80% less there than it is here in the U.S., which means you can hire specialty talent, someone who's skilled at doing things that you don't want to do or can't do, for a fraction of the cost of what you would pay here. And for a lot of business owners, whether you're a local business or an online business, you don't often have huge profit margins when you're first really getting your business off the ground. So if you can acquire amazing talent at 80% less than what you would pay here, it can allow you to bring on a team member long before you could otherwise. The other amazing thing about hiring someone at the fraction of the cost as you would for a U.S. person is it does wonderful things to your profit margin. So let's think about it. It's not just about our revenue, it's about our profit margin. And in this economy, so many people are trying to cut costs. You know, we're worried about possibly inflation. So we need to really look at how can we bring in as much money as possible, but also how can we cut our cost and spend every penny wisely to grow our business? And I truly believe that outsourcing to the Philippines is the way to do that. If the person you're thinking about hiring is a marketing virtual assistant, someone who can help you with video editing, social media marketing, emailing, blogging, I'd love to have a conversation with you, or at least have you check out the Marketing VA Advantage. You can find it at themarketingvaadvantage.com where you can learn more about what a marketing virtual assistant could do for you. Thanks for being here.